Hey, what's up, everybody? JC in the house. Another late cap special for you guys. Everybody gathering around, JC in the house. But yeah, that's gonna be a quick video today about uh, keeping the man and uh, what are some ways to keep a man. And uh, it's sad to say that you know, in order for a man to be kept, is he has to want to be kept. You know, it's a lot of times. Women feel like, you know, all they got to do is give them sex or, you know, be loyal to them. But, like I said, it's all it's all on that man to be kept, you know. What's going on? Nina, everybody gather around. JC in the house, as always. But, yeah, though, it's, all, it's all on to be kept. Um, a lot of times, we take we take advantage of a good woman. Um, we have a woman that's by our side, that ride or dies, but... You know, when times get tough, a lot of men tend to tend to look look the other way, and uh, we do have a big abandonment issue within within the brotherhood. That's not all brothers though, but it's a lot of brothers that you know they do have abandonment issues when stuff do get tough or rough. Uh, we do tend to uh, point the finger at the woman and. Um, like I said before, we can't call ourselves the heads, the kings, one of the rulers if we're not um, if we're not out here. <laughs> you said because they're selfish. Yeah, I'm just saying we can't call ourselves leaders if we want to keep keep blaming the woman and put the onus on the woman. You know, women out here, you know, are working, maybe single mothers, single parent, parenthood, and all the all the focus should not be on her. You know, uh, we need to do a better job with. Having discipline, having self control, um, having stickability, you know. When times get rough, you don't you don't run away, you you say you stay by her. You know, you stay by her, you stay loyal to her, faithful to her. And um, like I say, sometimes sometimes you do get a bad end. You do you may get a crazy woman, you may get a a left for woman. But nine times out of ten, if you doing your part as a man, you're nurturing her, you're loving her the way she wants to love you. You know, y'all have some of the core values. You, you have good. Uh, you know, you follow your her love language, whether it may be quality time, physical touch, words of affirmation. If you're doing those things, then nine times out of ten, you ain't you're not gonna really run a woman off. But when you start getting complacent, you know, you start getting complacent or try to do your own thing. That's when you see your woman kind of shift, shift, take a take take a seat back because she doesn't. You know, want want you to be uh, taking. A lead. She don't want to take the lead because, you know, she expects you to be the leadership. You know, you said that man has to want to be kept. Yeah, what's going on, Megan? What's going on, Nina? Felicia? Francis? Smiley? But yeah, though, like I said, I mean, it don't really matter what you do for a man. Like a good one, like a good brother, he gonna he gonna appreciate you. But not time to ten. Um, he's broken from his past relationship. He hasn't healed from it. Then he won't really appreciate your blessing, you know. Um, a lot of time we say, "Okay, we're all a good woman," at? but nine times out of ten, you know, we've all had one. We neglected her. We got complacent, and you know, bam, bam, bam. She was somebody else. You know, her her mind might have been with him. Her body might have been with us, but her mind's elsewhere. You know, and. Um, that's what we got to work on as men as far as our communication and being consistent enough. Um, you know, we got to be more consistent enough. Um, we got to have the same drive when we met her uh, through the course of a relationship. And um, I'm guilty of that myself. You know, getting a little complacent, uh, communication errors. Right, so, like I said, it's not just to be getting on the men, but myself too, I gotta hold myself to the higher standards as well, so, so I got a person to work on myself too. What's going on, Jones, Gibson, Lawanda, Brianna, what's going on, everybody? But yeah, though, we can't, like I said, we can't call ourselves the head, we can't call ourselves one to be leading, and we keep, you know, following behind her, you know, it's always, it's always what she want to do as opposed to just being the leader and setting a good example, you know. Um, women are incubators, so whatever we're pouring into them is, is more likely what they're going to reproduce. So 
we got to do a better job as far as just leading and um, being honest with our intentions, you know. So a lot of times we're misleading them or we're causing a lot of hurt, a lot of kind of causing a lot of pain because we're we're broken ourselves and uh, we don't have no kind of outlet or we do have outlets and we fail to utilize our the help that's given to us. Gibson said, normally in order to find out the root of the problem, the fix mostly starts at the home, missing one or both parents. Yeah, yeah, everything starts at the home. Um, missing one parent, two parents, um, it's vital to have both parents. But even when you do have both parents, you know, you still, you still, you still can be messed up. So, you know, we just got to take the onus and put a county on ourselves to lead better and quit blaming the woman or mother or grandmother, everybody else, and uh, just do a better job as far as uh, leading, you know, because like I said, it takes, it takes a strong man, a strong woman to perform. And if she's carrying the weight, you know, who's really covering her? Who's covering the woman? And I don't feel like a lot of guys think about that. You know, you're thinking about your needs, your wants, your desires, but what about her? Uh, you always, a lot of times, you, you leave her out in the situation. And uh, you can't be no leader if you don't know how to lead, you don't know how to follow, you don't know how to pay attention. You know, it's a lot of responsibilities that come with it, you know. Okay, Ms. Gibson said, this is why men must get the relationship right with God. In order to be the head, you have to lead and have to let God follow your footsteps. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, a lot of men don't know the word, don't know who God is. So how can you expect a woman to be beside you when you don't even know how to submit to a higher authority? You know, you think you know everything. You're narcissistic. You're selfish. You think you know the, you know everything and nobody can tell you anything. But I don't care how you get, somebody is always higher than you. I don't care how big you get, I don't care how much money you make, you have to submit to somebody, you know. And uh, like I said, at the end of the day, like I said, at the end of the day, when it's all over, your, your tombstone will be the same as the next person. So, you know, at the end of the day, you ain't hiding nobody just based on your money, your status. Like, we're all in the same boat and we got to look at each other as similar because we all in the same um, wave when you think about it. Oh, what's going on? What's going on, everybody? What's going on, Johnson? But yeah, though, like I said, we're talking about probably what to do to keep a man. Like I said, ain't nothing you can do. You can get a man all the sex, all the attention. Um, get that man a break. You get that man threesomes. You can get that man, <laughs> you know, get that man time. It's like it's on the, it's on the individual, you know? You know what I mean? It's on the individual to want to be kept in a situation, you know? A lot of women, like I said, they they, they done with the build a man. They date a dude that got money, that's been broke, that's been in the prison, out of work, the regular not in the five joes. They dated every type of dude and got burned by each type, you know? It's just sad that we keep talking about choose better, but, but what is there really to choose from? Either the dudes are either on the low, marry or they may not have the confidence enough to go out there and approach so it's like what is she really left with you know and you know there's always exceptions to the rule but that doesn't outweigh um the reality of what a lot of women are going through you know i've always said women always have the toughest choices to date and uh it gets tougher year by year uh gibson said i don't want to come off attacking just like men because women fall short as well in relationships in a team where that's why you have to be careful who you mix your spirit with. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you know what I'm saying. It, it's on both, but like I said, as a man, I feel like it's my it's my duty to address the men because we are the head. We're supposed to be the leaders, so you know I kind of let the women judge themselves because y'all know more about what y'all need to be doing. But as far as brotherhood and leadership, you know we gotta do a better job protecting, covering, and uh, loving our women back to life. And uh, we doing a poor job doing that situation, you know. We're having abandonment issues, um, and we just feel, I just feel like everything is out of whack, out of order. And like I said before, it's God, husband, wife, kids. So, you know, how can you expect a woman or a whole hey, a family to submit to you if you're not, you don't know your place, you know, you're confused, you don't know where you're going, you know. <laughs> if you slide a blind, lead in the blind, 
expect her to follow your lead, but you don't know where you're going, then what you expect her to do? Where where, where y'all going? You know, where, where's that vision? You know, without a vision, will you know you you will fares. And a lot of brothers don't have that vision, don't have that that mindset to want to go out here and lead. You know, you know you still want to tag along with the woman, want her to lead, want her to go out there and pursue you, etc. You know, it's like. Like when does she get a right? You know, when she she be in the passenger seat and you know just allow her allow her a man to do what a man's supposed to do. You know, you say okay, a woman don't want to listen to you, but are you listening to her? Are you asking her questions? Are you being engaged? What she got going on? You know, it's not about you. It's not about your agenda. It's about it's about teamwork. You know, you can't everything ain't about you. It's not about what you want and etc. I mean, it's okay to have your wants, your needs, but it's like. It gotta be a partnership at the same time, you know. You can't just be a taker, take, 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 and never want to deposit nothing back into it, you know. Uh, that's one thing we we struggling to do as well as men is um keep keep uh, withdrawing and we're not making any kind of deposits and we're leaving these women stranded and defending themselves. And there's no protection, nobody want to cover, and it's just a really just sad situation overall. Uh, you think about it, so you know, like I said, to end this, you know, a man got to be kept. It's nearly nothing you can do. Like I said, like I said, y'all done tried it all. Y'all done tried to date to do without money. Y'all date older men, dated men with money. <laughs> you know, y'all built, y'all built with a dude. You know, y'all built. I try to be able to do, y'all try to get what to do who I already established, but it all comes down to his morals, character, you know, what does he what does he want though? Because a dude can have the perfect woman and he don't know what to do with her. He don't know how to leave her, he don't know how to guide her, he don't know how to love on her. It's like you know, yeah, he still wants more, he still wants to be respected as a head. But, you know, he doesn't want to show any kind of leadership or any kind of uh, submission to her, you know, because submission is a two-way street, and uh, not a lot of brothers know that. Okay, let me give some uh, bring back prayer in the relationship because nobody wanted to be single. So they rush into a relationship. Nobody wanted to be lonely. You're still trying to fix whatever issue you are dealing with before getting into a relationship. Yeah. You said Bianca said we need leaders. It's hard to follow someone who doesn't have a direction. Yeah, it's it's tough it's tough to find men who have a vision, who has a five year, ten year plan, you know, not just for his own life, but whoever the woman he's with, you know, it's really tough to find that, you know, so it is like getting a needle out of the haystack, you know, it's finding you know, finding hay in a knee sack because it's really tough for women really to try to choose choose guys because a lot of guys coming with the the wolves and sheep's clothing. And it's really hard to really measure who's good, who's not good, or who, or how you know somebody gonna stay after you get pregnant. After you know two, three years, when y'all going through a hardship, is he going to be able? He's not. And um, the woman always can get the blame of it. If you think about it, like, oh, we should have chose better. But it's like, you know, it's on, it's on the men. You know, I think some situations you can be like, you know what? Yeah, she should have chose better. But you know, it's a lot of stuff going on within ourselves that we just gotta do better and uh, myself included I got a lot of work to do and um, so like I said I feel like we we become better men we'll see better in our women and children and our whole surrounding our community it starts with the head it starts with the community so we have to store the head and then the neck and the body will follow so yeah that's all I had to say for tonight everybody y'all check my channel out like share subscribe holler back <laughs>